Hi everyone, so this video is going to be very different than what I usually post on my channel. There's no information here, this is purely about aesthetics and uh, me showcasing the skins I have. You could even say I'm showing off. Uh, these are skins I've accumulated over the years. Some of them are crafted with stickers that I'm, you know, I like the aesthetics of. And I just wanted to share it with my community. So, you know, if you were expecting something informational, oh well, it's my channel. I can post whatever I want. Uh, we'll start off with just rifles in this video, and I guess let's look into the CT side. Uh, we'll start off with the FAMAS. Uh, the first FAMAS I got was the Mecha Industries, uh, which was a white skin. Uh, I went with the uh, Vitality Shocks uh, Stockholm stickers, uh, all hollows usually. Uh, and it's just a nice black background with some uh, orange highlights, so it fits in with the skin really nicely. Uh, there was a point when I was starting my skin collection where I was trying to get mostly white colored skins for the CT side, just because I felt like it symbolized, you know, purity. Uh, but that's something that I gave up on a long time ago. But you will see I have a lot of uh, white skins in the CT side. Uh, the second FAMAS that I got was uh, the FAMAS Jin. It's a nice skin, it looks pretty good even on a, a high float. It's just a black skin with some gold highlights uh, that kind of uh, shines in, at certain angles. And then I got uh, two Rain Champion stickers uh, from Antwerp, a Chopper sticker and a Dexter sticker, all uh, from Antwerp. They're nice stickers, black backgrounds, but like sort of golden colors in between. They fit in with the skin really nicely, and nothing covers up like the Jin's face, so in a sense like these uh, fit in with the skin very nicely. Uh, now moving on to the M4s, uh, I have, uh, the, this is one of the first skins I got, the M4 A4 Neo Noir. Uh, pretty cool skin, I really like the nice like sort of bright white color that it had at first. Uh, and then for stickers, I had applied a long time ago PGL uh, Stockholm NIP stickers. I feel like the NIP Shuriken really fits in with the, skin, uh, the skin's theme really nicely. And then the colors aren't too bad, they kind of look like a neon uh, color that just fits in with the skin very nicely. Uh, one of the skins I got recently uh, were was the uh, M4 Coalition. I always liked this black golden sort of like color, and then I wanted to put Vitality stickers on it. So these are Vitality Stockholm uh, stickers. Uh, they look pretty nice. I love the gold highlight of the stickers, but I also like the sort of uh, weird rainbow colors that come in between the transition. Look pretty nice. The skin itself is not that high, is that not that low a float. You can see some wear on it, but I'm fine with that as long as the stickers fit in with the skin. Uh, I also have other skins uh, for the M4 A1. Uh, one of the first ones I got for that was uh, Chantico's Fire, and it just has um, Copenhagen Flame stickers on it. Uh, they don't stand out that well, but hey, it's a very bright skin, so it looks kind of cool. And then I also have a Mecha Industry with, I guess, more Vitality stickers. I just really like the Vitality stickers with the golden highlights on them. Uh, Moving on uh, to the Scout, uh, I have two main Scout skins. Uh, the first that I got was uh, the Scout Parallax. It looks really nice, uh, w even without stickers. I kind of like uh, the sort of dizzying parallax effect they've got going on. I tried to experiment with some stickers, didn't really find anything I liked. So currently I have uh, Complexity, Liquid, G2, and Renegade stickers. None of them really fit with the skin either, So, but they are expensive stickers, so I'm not going to scrape them off. So the skin just exists as it is. Not too proud of it. Uh, the second Scout skin I have is the Scout Fever Dream. I much prefer the Fever Dream for the Scout over the Op. Uh, and I went with red stickers from Stockholm. They look really nice, mostly because the signature style is very graffiti-esque. Uh, so it fits in with the skin really nicely. And the colors don't clash with it at all. Even though I don't love Rez as a player, I think his sticker looks fine on this skin and really fits in with it. Uh, moving on to the AUG, one of my favorite guns actually. Uh, one of the first AUG skins I got was uh, the Arctic Wolf. I particularly like how the barrel in this one is painted over. Uh, and then for the stickers, I went with uh, Movistar Riders uh, stickers from Stockholm. The stickers that aren't a perfect fit with the skin, but I like the stickers themselves. They're kind of expensive. And honestly, the color, the red highlight, fits in with the skin enough that I'll keep it as is. Uh, the second AUG I have is the AUG Momentum, uh, which is this teal colored AUG with some red uh, highlights on the tips. Uh, what I'm really proud of uh, are the Shush uh, Antwerp stickers I got on these. I think the bottom red parts of these just fit in so well with the red highlights on the rest of the skin. So it's just a really good combo right here. Moving on to the op, I have three op skins right now. Uh, I have the op Mortis. I've always liked this skin. I love the design of it. It's kind of very progressive, dark, gothic theme going on. Uh, I applied end stickers from Antwerp. They aren't really that good, but oh well, this is the craft I made. Uh, the op skin I got recently, Black Nile. Uh, I went with a higher float, so that's 0.6. 
uh, which gives it an orange shade, which is kind of cool compared to lower floats. Uh, and then I experimented a lot with the stickers, and the ones I stuck with uh, are the IHC stickers. They're kind of white, they fit in with the skin, I just like the combination of them. The third op I have is uh, the op exoskeleton. I think I won this a long time ago in a tournament. And uh, the op itself is really nice. I love the 3D effect and the shine on it, but I struggled for a long time to find stickers that fit with it until a friend of mine showed me uh, the Halo Legendary stickers. And the elites just like really blend in, uh, the skull theme just blends in really nicely with the exoskeleton. So that's the op I have. I have some uh, scar skins, but I don't really use the scar as much. And I haven't really found good sticker combos, but you know, I have uh, the Scar Bloodsport, I have the Scar Blueprint, uh, it's kind of a shit skin, and then I also have the Scar Fragments. I like the 3D tessellation going on here. Uh, moving on to the T side, I've got a bunch of Galils, even though I am ass at using this actual rifle. Uh, the one I like the most is the Galil Chromatic Aberration. It's got a really nice parallax effect going on compared to like the Scout skins. And I went with EG stickers simply because they have like a sort of purple, yellow, black uh, transition going on. They look really nice. Problem is they're EG stickers, so they're shit stickers, but hey, uh, they're cheaper than uh, Team Spirit stickers, so I went with these anyway. Uh, the second Galil I have is the Galil Signal. It's a red skin. I went with some red stickers, so Nekiz, Rigon, Config, and Jerry. Not really my favorite skin, but hey, it's not ugly, so there it is. The third Galil I have is the Galil Stone Cold. Really nice skin. Uh, love the blue color on it, and it's a very simple, elegant design. And then I went with Renegade's hat stickers from Antwerp. Uh, I just love the clashing, the color clashing going on here with the orange and like yellow with the rest of the skin. I think it just adds a really nice highlight. Moving on uh, to the AKs, this was one of the first skins I ever got, the AK Empress. Always been one of my favorite skins. I love the colors, I love the design, it kind of like uh, speaks to me a lot. Uh, and then where the stickers, I went with uh, the Godsend stickers from uh, Stockholm. Uh, really nice stickers on their own, I love how like kind of, you know, Illuminati uh, they are. Uh, and they fit in with the skin really nicely, so you know, the sticker blends in with the crown and the hair. Uh, it's complicated, but it does not take away from uh, the complexity of the design, uh, the skin's design. It just adds to it with a nice golden highlight, so one of my favorite crafts I've made. Uh, the second one I made in this major cycle, which was the AK Ice Cold. Uh, I've always liked this skin a lot, uh, and I was experimenting with a lot of the stickers that came out from this past major, and I always liked the Apex stickers. Uh, they're really nice, modern, clean, blocky look, and the color, the like sort of Dutch orange, was just such a prominent color you don't see as much. So I just had to get those stickers, and I uh, hypothesized that they would look really nice on the Ice Cold, and voila, I think it looks amazing. I think uh, the design, they blend really nicely, and the color adds such an interesting highlight that just fits in here. Uh, mm, I already showed you my scouts, so we can move on uh, to the scout skins I have. Uh, one of the one of the scouts, uh, the sorry SSG skins that the SG, the Krieg skins I have. Uh, Dragon Tech. Uh, I had experimented with some Entropic stickers earlier. I didn't like them. They added too much to the skin. So currently I have big Antwerp stickers here. Uh, they're very hollow, so they sort of don't add any complexity to the skin itself. But the white color, it just has a nice embellishment to the skin, so definitely a nice combo here. Uh, I also had uh, the SG uh, Phantom for a very long time. Uh, I've always loved the scope on this, so whenever you scope in, you see the nice orange circle around the scope. Uh, but I, I, I just knew Fnatic stickers would work with this. I kind of cheaped out and just went with Mezzi signature stickers instead of the Fnatic team's stickers. But oh well, it still fits in with the color scheme of the skin very nicely. And uh, the third uh, Krieg skin I have is the Colony. I've always loved the design of it. Uh, very sort of brutal, uh, apocalyptic design going on here. And I went with the Enter the Breach stickers from the last major. Uh, they're kind of red and teal, which fit in with the color scheme of the skin really nicely. The red matching uh, this, whatever, insect thing going on. And then the teal matches just the rest of the highlights of the skin. So pretty nice combo. I also love how the scope looks with the Enter the Breach stickers. Uh, I've already showed you the op, so now we move on to the last skin I have, which is uh, the T-Side Auto Sniper. Uh, I got the Stinger a long time ago from a trade-up contract. Uh, never really cared about the Auto Sniper. I've never really liked Navi as a team much either, so perfect spot to use some Navi holo stickers. They blend with the skin really nicely, and I'm never going to use the skin again. So hopefully you like my inventory. If you have any thoughts on uh, skins you liked or crafts you like, share them in the comments. If you dislike some of them, let me know. Uh, I will look at your reviews. But generally, if you're going to recommend an anime theme skin, I'm not going to like it. Uh, so there's to all the rifles. Maybe at some point in the future, I can make uh, some discussing my SMGs or my pistols as well. Cheers.